Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time to talk about the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. Yeah, let's talk about this uh, supposed review bombing. It's gotten so bad that Amazon has suspended ratings. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, has this happened before? I think Probably, who I, knows? I think it happened with Captain Marvel before uh, to some degree, but we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this because Again, Amazon is not going to let this show fail. Doesn't matter how much audiences hate it. Doesn't matter if critics hate it. The narrative is going to be, it was a phenomenal series worth every penny of the billion dollars they spent. And it's all the fans' fault. It's oh, of course, because they have in here because some people complain about diversity. So they're doing it to prevent trolling. No, they're not. They're doing, they're doing it to prevent their thing being tanked because there are people that are voting it pretty fairly even in the middle. It's all being like halted. I think it's funny, the video we did yesterday on it, uh, they were saying that there were toxic comments and, and some of those comments actually came from reviewers who got mm -hmm. screeners. Wasn't the wasn't the uh, people leaving reviews, wasn't the audience. So we're gonna talk about this uh, uh, unprecedented situation, I guess, with the Rings of Power. It you... probably happened before. It is, and it's gonna happen again. These studios can't when let these the things When the studios fail. own the, the site, the very sites that are supposed to be there so you can review things, what yeah. do you think's gonna happen? Yeah, so we'll talk about that. IMDB, of course, is owned by Amazon, so yeah. Uh, anyway, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 275,000 subs. Woo. Thank you for the support. Speaking of support, speaking of fantasy, go out and support Crimson Wren Volume 1 from Clownfish Studios. Uh, brand new adventure. It's a prequel to Shadowbinders written by Geeky and myself and drawn by Jose Garcia. Uh, we still have almost three weeks left and we're at uh, almost $45,000, which is pretty awesome. And it's a beautiful, beautiful book. It's almost done. Just needs uh, a couple of pages finished yet and some lettering and we're good to go. So uh, this one will definitely be coming. There shouldn't be a, uh, a very long wait for it. Anyway, let's go back to this. Uh, Hollywood Reporter, is the Rings of Power getting review bombed? Amazon suspends ratings. Of course they are. Mm -hmm. This is this is some serious bullshit. I um, mean, do I think it's being review bombed by some people? Yes. Do I think that's probably. majority? No. And do I think it's being review, you know, I don't know what you call it. It's not bombed, but like it's artificially being inflated by yeah. groups of people too? Yes. Is it everybody? No. No. So anyway, um, it's pretty bad that the Hollywood Reporter has to talk about it. And, you know, here's the thing. For all this talk of oh, diversity and women and people don't like da 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 da, you, you didn't see this conversation much uh, about House of the Dragon, mm -hmm. which uh, you know does have some strong female characters and some people who aren't white. But uh, this is Tolkien we're talking about, and this series already had a lot of things going against it. Uh, basically, it just goes against Tolkien. They just made up a bunch of shit. It just happens to take place in a version of Middle Earth. It's not even connected to the Peter Jackson movies. Uh, which people don't understand that. I don't think normies understand that. Um, so they could have just called it the Rings of Power and called it a day. Because Lord of the Rings is the brand. Right, exactly. That's, you know, and there are no hobbits. So, I mean, we've got the Harfoots or whatever, but there are no actual hobbits. They can't call it the Hobbit. I mean, they could call it Middle Earth. The Rings of Power. The Rings of Power. That makes a hell of a lot more sense. But again, normies know Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. So that's what they're going with. Uh, anyway. Where's a wizard to fight trolls when you need one? Har har. The mega budget fantasy series Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power is under fire from some of its viewers. A day after the first two episodes of the billion dollar baby debuted on Prime Video, the show's average audience score on Rotten Tomatoes is at 37% and reviews on Amazon have been outright suspended. But they, so on, you can't even review it on Amazon itself no. where you can watch. Okay, that's, that's bad. That means they're shit and bricks. Well, then that just, uh, okay, so basically, oh, because we don't want the re reviews that aren't glowing. Those, those are the real ones, don't you know? The glowing reviews are all real and legitimate, but yeah. anything that's, that's less than, like, the bestest ever, we're going to just suspend it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, compare that to the score the TV critics are giving it, 83%. Many of the reviews are highly enthusiastic. Uh, again, it's all... It's all about the imagery. Imagery, it, yeah, exactly. It's great. A gorgeously immersive and grandly ambitious spectacle packed with stunning imagery and compelling so plot Wait, threads. there's a lot of them. We gave one example. We gave one example. There were multiple, multiple reviews that were not kind, which I was very surprised about. Uh, the New York Times, I think, was one of them. Entertainment, Entertainment Weekly. Weekly. The BBC. 
Grace Randolph. These are people that you think would be all about it, and they weren't. Uh, they actually thought it was awful. In fact, it was Grace Randolph who called Galadriel a Mary Sue and a Karen. Well, I love this next one. This score comes a complete, a complete, a couple of weeks after Marvel She-Hulk was declared review bombed on the site by the media. Again, it's the media with this narrative. 88% critic score and a 36% audience score. Because people aren't liking the show. I'm sorry. I've heard from multiple people who've watched it, all different kinds of people, not big fans. So here's where it gets really interesting, and, and I'll tell you why that time frame too. How the Rings of Power is doing on Amazon's own user review ecosystem is not clear because the company has taken the unusual step, unprecedented I think, of suspending user ratings for the show. An Amazon source says the reviews are being held 72 hours to weed out trolls and ensure each review is legitimate. So basically only the good reviews get through. Yes. The source later claimed Prime Video started the policy this summer on all its shows. Yeah, uh, if that's the case, how does stuff get through? How does stuff get through? Now, here's here's the thing. Watch time is very important on streaming shows. Watch time in the first 24 to 48 to 72 hours is extremely important. And the reason I believe they're holding them for 72 hours is they don't want to tank potential watch time. Mm -hmm. People come in. Uh, they maybe watch 10 minutes of it and be like, this show is you know, dog shit. What, what are other people saying about it? And they're like, oh, one star, two star. Okay, I'm not even going to waste my time with it. That's why they're doing it because they need that watch time in the first couple of days mm -hmm. to be able to brag. And they're afraid those reviews are going to damage well, the watch Well, I love the fact, what are, they basing, what are they basing what's trolls or not? Someone gives it a one, it's automatically a troll review? <sighs> review bombing is when a group of online users post numerous negative reviews for a product or service due to its perceived cultural or political issues rather than its actual quality. Right, and there's also a, a, the opposite where people do the same thing where their group of online users post glorious positive reviews for a product or service due to its perceived cultural or political issues rather than its actual quality. But they never mention that, do they? Remember how Shira had this amazing audience score and some of the reviews were just gay rights? Yeah, and then you went out <laughs> to places like Reddit or Instagram. They were like groups that were that they would just use different accounts to yeah, keep giving yeah. fake reviews. That's okay because that's, you know, glowing review. But if it's if, if there's any negative review, even a valid, you know, one that maybe it's constructive criticism or it's valid, it's automatically review bombing and sexism and racism because they said so. Even though the person who might have left the review might have been a, a black female. Doesn't matter. It's automatically racism and misogyny, which to me, just treating everyone the same is this racism and misogyny. So if you go out to Rotten Tomatoes, according to The Hollywood Reporter, uh, you can see examples of what they consider review bombing. They wanted to involve such an important work with current politics, and they have succeeded. That's a one star. Nobody has a problem with seeing people of color in movies, series, or stories, but this story was already written and should not have been sold. Uh, yes and no. Uh, Tolkien did not write this story. That's, that's the fundamental problem I have with it, is they just made this shit up. And from what Squid King was telling me... Um, they're actually borrowing from tropes from other fantasy series, including video games. Uh, he's telling me that they actually borrowed some lines from from recent video games. And I'm like, what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. What is this? It's somebody's D and D campaign. They just, you know, um, billion dollar D and D campaign. The majority of the negative reviews, whatever the writer's private feelings are, criticize the show for non diversity reasons. Okay, there we go. They spent billion dollars on backdrops and a film score. The rest is slow moving, wooden acting, and there is no reason to actually like the main characters. There's no soul to any of it. So are we not going to count that one because it's a one star? Like yeah. it could just be like this. That's is it. What's it cause I, oh, it's a troll because it gave us anything, anything below a five star is a troll. <laughs> there was one aspect even the show's biggest haters seem to agree on that brings a power. Looks amazing. Stunningly beautiful world. Sadly, was bored out of my mind. I'm hearing that more and more and more. People said, yeah, it looks expensive. It's almost like they're like, okay, we're spending a lot of money on this show. Mm, we really don't need a coherent plot. Well, we don't need to pay those Tolkien scholars Clearly, anymore. that's a toxic, <laughs> misogynistic racist, obviously. Uh, TV line, the site's uh, post-premiere poll suggested most viewers had a much more positive reaction. 62% of viewers granted the show an A rating. Well, that would imply that there's another 38% who, who gave, it far, gave it less. Amazon owns IMDb but has not suspended that site's audience ratings yet. IMDb scores were likewise higher than those on Rotten Tomatoes. 
albeit still middling. Could it possibly be that this is actually a very beautiful but subpar show that normies aren't enjoying as much as they expected them no, to? No, it's all review bombing. If it, if it doesn't go the way they want, it's review bombing, but they never mention the opposite. I mean, that's that's... You know, this is a huge, huge, huge deal. Well, what, let's go to IMDb and let's see what the um, okay to click on the the ratings and see up here. And you look at it and oh look, there's eighteen thousand ten stars to fourteen thousand you know or so uh, one stars. Well, there's clearly one's being elevated more than the other. Yeah, because what happens is you get uh, what you have the the trolls and the antis or the anti antis or whatever the hell they're probably like. We need to fight the good fight for this corporation, right? And the thing is, it's, yeah, right. I know, but it's like if, if you're kind of argue, if you're going to argue that's being review bombed, what? How come there's all these ten stars too? Yeah, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. I mean, this whole thing is ridiculous. It's ridiculous they even did it. Um, again, what's so ironic about all this is that Amazon spent the money they spent because they wanted to come up with their own Game of Thrones, and they wound up going head to head with Game of Thrones, which is actually much better received and hasn't had all the drama around it um, yet. You know, I, I mean, a lot of the same issues that people supposedly have with Tolkien, they actually have in Game of Thrones. But the difference is that one actually had the blessing of the author of Game of Thrones. And uh, it seems like they're trying to adhere to uh, the rules of that world a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I'm actually shocked people came back after the last couple episodes <laughs> or last couple of seasons of, of Game of Thrones. Um but uh, they're back, and yeah, the media is just like, oh, well, there's no way the Lord of the Rings could be getting... They spent a lot of money on it. There's no way this could be a disaster. Yeah, I know, right? It's but impossible. We're just, just going to hold reviews because they're decided for trolls. We're not telling you what rubric we use to determine if they're trolls or not. And the media, of course, they're going to fight that battle. Because, look, we've been down this... How many times have we been down this road? You can't even really get angry about it because, it's like, of course they're going to do this. How much advertising money does you know uh, i mean amazon probably throws money at these websites uh, they probably get you know commissions for referrals they don't want to piss them off they want to make sure they get invited to events they get screeners and all of that so they're absolutely going to fight this this battle and it's it's basically standing for a corporation now you can have your opinion on this show and it might be that the show's just not good i mean again you know grace randolph was the one that called her a karen and a mary sue and that's a karen progressive sue, if you will karen sue And, um, you know, she's a progressive woman, so, and a professional reviewer. So what, Mm -hmm. you know, I'm saying like this whole thing. Well, that's because she's clearly a misogynist and racist. Clearly a racist and misogynist. But um, this is just, again, we knew this was going to happen. This has happened so many times before. And the more money's involved in a franchise, the more red flags there are, the more the media is going to... Defend well, it. They expected this to happen because that it, they, that it wasn't probably testing well because immediately before things before the show even was aired, it, they start with all oh, diversity, diversity, diversity. If you hate this, you're you're a terrible person. That was they've been trying that for months. They um now I haven't been following this one real closely, but they were like pulling down teaser videos and and uh, shutting off comments, turning off comments on videos because fans there was all kinds of backlash. I mean, it should have been. A huge red flag back, you know, three years ago when they're like, yeah, we can't really base this on anything Tolkien. We can't base it on the Peter Jackson films. We're just going to make a bunch of shit up. And here it is. And uh, Tolkien has a ridiculously passionate fan base. There are people that dedicate their lives to studying Tolkien. Yeah, they're going to have opinions about this, you know? We're going to wrap it up? Mm -hmm. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.